the kind of video in connection with my start to anxiety video I am going to tell you just a teeny bit about hyperhidrosis and what I know about it um, just and just kind of my experience so for me it started when I was in fifth fifth or sixth grade and I just I would my armpits would just pull a lot of people get it in other parts of their body, they can get it on um, the palms of their hands, um, their back, their feet, pretty much anywhere. But for me, the kind of target area was my armpits. I did used to get really, 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 really sweaty palms. And sometimes I still do, but it's not as bad as the armpits. So I had no idea what was happening to me. I thought it was just... I kind of thought it was because I was fat. Um, I was an obese child. And then, yeah, whatever. I'm not going to talk about that right now. Um, so as the years kind of went on, I eventually researched it, like what, what it could be and stuff. And I found out it was an actual condition. So, once I found out it was an actual condition, I tried probably 10 or 15 different kinds of deodorants and antiperspirants to no avail. Nothing helped whatsoever. And that's kind of... It's hard. Because, especially in such formative years when... You're in high school and everyone's kind of judging and be, trying to be in sports. Sports with hyperhidrosis. Ooh, yeah, sucks. Um, I was in gymnastics, believe it or not, yeah, for three years in high school. And there were actually two other girls on the team who sweat like I did. Whether or not they knew about hyperhidrosis or if it was, I don't know, but I never talked to them, but I knew they had it. It's obvious, especially in Aaliyah's heart. <laughs> um, so I didn't feel so alone, um, but still really hard. So um, 10 to 15 different kinds of deodorants, and eventually I did go to a doctor about it, and... They recommended um, a certain kind of deodorant that kind of kind of attacks the sweat glands, and it's supposed to like make them shrink. This deodorant stuff burns and kills because it's like attacking the sweat glands, and I spent so many nights crying in bed because you're supposed to put it on before bed otherwise you're going through the day with this uncomfortable feeling I put it on before bed I spent hours crying and they're like um, give it a couple weeks um, give it a couple weeks to see if it's working for you but you're going to be in pain. <laughs> so that crap sucked. And eventually I did a lot more research and I actually saw um, a dermatologist. And at this dermatologist, I actually received Botox in my armpits. It was like 30 shots on each side to really get the coverage for um, the sweat glands and stuff. No, that was crappy. <laughs> it's, it, I mean, no. Sorry, he's chewing on something. 
Um. Um, sorry, I apologize. <laughs> so, I got the Botox injections and they worked for the most part. I say that only in the most part because, um, I still sweat, which everybody sweats, but really... <laughs> More on like a normal level, like a normal person would sweat. And I received these injections twice. And the funny story, <laughs> my dad received a bill in the mail from the insurance company. And he called up my mom and me and he was livid. He's like... $500 for Botox? Why do you need Botox? And that was humiliating and really hard to try to explain to him. But my mom stood by my side and whatever. So I received Botox injections twice and I haven't since because it is, you, you have to pay for it. Ooh, I'm sorry. You do have to pay for it. And so I've just been kind of dealing with it. Um, through pregnancy, it's pretty pointless to try to do anything because you're sweating up a storm anyway. But now postpartum, um, being home, I am pretty much in tank tops, which is really airy, obviously, so it helps. And I don't know, it's just kind of something I've grown used to. I pretty much can't wear long sleeve shirts of any kind except for big bulky sweaters. Um, it's really hard for me to wear pretty clothes um, because I just sweat and it's humiliating. In a t-shirt, a regular t-shirt, um, it's a little easier to kind of hide it, but in like a pretty little cute number, you can't really hide it, and it sucks. I've tried different kind of products like pit pads and everything, but nothing really, really works. So, it's a crappy, crappy deal, but as you grow older, you kind of adjust. And, yeah, sorry to say for anyone who has it, but it's just kind of starting with it or anything. You, it gets better. It really does. But it still, it sucks. So thanks for listening, guys. <laughs> Bye.